Hello everyone. In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing these two bags from Kate Spade. I had to sneeze, so I'll be editing that part out. But, um, I bought these from their outlet site during um, their like additional winter Christmas sale and I went ahead and used Rakuten to get cash back as well I might sound a little stuffy just because of the um, weather change here where I live allergies are acting up and I'm hoping I'm not getting a cold but we'll see so I'm gonna start with this one first right here now for this one I believe it's PVC material so it's not leather it's the big leather the reason for that's probably because of the flower design on it. I'll show you here in a little bit. Let's take off the tag. This one's called the Christy Poppy Printed wallet <laughs> so it's covered in this little foam wrap so here's the purse or I'm calling it a handbag small it has a bunch of red poppy flowers, and that is the main reason I picked this one, because this is my favorite flower. It has more of the little foam paper. Take that out. Here, the little button, there's some plastic. Let me take that off. If I can get it. There we go. There's that one. Little silica packets to keep the bag dry. I don't want the chain to make too much noise right now, so I'm going to move this around. Right 
there is some, oh, let's see, put this here. You are able to adjust the strap to shorten it or lengthen it. I'm probably going to have to shorten it for myself, just preference, and also because I'm very short, so I don't need to do that, but this is the purse. It's very stiff material. I'm sorry, I didn't need to do that, but if you could tell, there's, it'll definitely hold its shape. <clears throat> I like that, so I don't have to worry about it getting folded or misshapen or anything like that. Let's see what else there's inside. I don't know if you'll be able to see it that well because it's dark, but it's all black inside. There's one, two, three, four, five, six card slots on this side and another six on the other. Okay, so that's probably why they called it a wallet instead of just a purse. There's 12 card slots in total to put. There's one big pocket here. Right there separate, so maybe a phone or something. And then everything else right there. <coughs> so because there's a bunch of slots, you won't need actual space for a wallet. And then everything else can be the contents that you want. Like glasses, keys, phone, all that stuff. Most of her, the purses from Kate Spade do have the logo with the little spade sign, either embossed or this metal detail. And I like that. So this one's a little different. Usually I like to go with simple colors, but because it is my favorite. A decent size. Not too small, but just enough for essentials. So I'm gonna move this over. So I'm gonna put this right here so you can keep seeing it. And put some trash out of the way. Put these over here in case I need them. I think I just said I like simple stuff, but I also like cute things as well. And Kate Spade um, also does novelty bags. I have a few of them already with the camera and cat and gingerbread. And I saw this one that was like, no, what was it? I honestly forgot how much I paid, but it was additionally discounted, like an additional 40% on top of the outlet price. And when I saw that, I couldn't pass it up. So, this one is a novelty bag, one from a novelty bag. Other dotty embroidery straw. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Let me do this. That's cute. It says treat. Oh, let's see. Treat this piece with tender loving care. Its beautiful materials are delicate. I can see why they had the little tag for delicate. 
like it. And if you see the ladybugs, there's something where you get snagged or get caught on that. They could mess with the design. I don't remember reading the description. I don't know if this is leather or PVC, but either way, the main material is this right here. Blanking on the name. Let's continue unboxing this or taking off all the packaging. I kept putting off recording this video because one of my husband's Christmas slash birthday gifts is a 3D printer, a 3D printer. And when that thing is running, it can be loud. Or not too loud, but for me, I can hear the little buzzing in the background. And I didn't want that in the videos, so I just kept putting it off. But I also didn't want to tell my husband, hey, stop printing so I can record a video. So I just decided to wait and try to remember also. But the problem with that also is I'd have to be in the mood as well. So all those things have to remind me. Making sure there wasn't anything printing and able to get away and do this video. So we have the packets to keep everything dry. And then more packaging to put the the bag. Okay, I thought the material was going to be more stiff, but if you can tell, it's not. There's a lot of give to it. So we'll for sure have to be careful with this. So inside you get a bunch more ladybugs. And I think they're adorable. Look at that detail. And that's one thing I've always loved about Kate Spade bags is they're simple yet have these little small details throughout their product or bags and all that. So again, the metal logo. You can see the little hooks here for the shoulder straps. Inside, there's no pockets or anything, just a little another piece of the logo. I'm trying to see. Okay, so it is attached right here. And it would have to be because I've not been this way before. The way it closes is like that. A little, what would you call this? Inside tie? Oh no, but you can tie it like that. So, there's that one. Let me get the strap right here. color matches the little edges right here. Yeah. 
here as well. And again, I also like that it gives the option to lengthen or shorten the strap. to help keep its shape but this is definitely going to be one of those where pretty much phone, keys, wallet and maybe a few other small things will fit depending on how big everything else is but I just couldn't pass it up And I figured since the gingerbread um, novelty purse is more seasonal, I could use this one whenever. So that is the two items. And let's see, I think I will also show you what I got from Fabletics. I figured if anyone likes crinkly sounds, video would be good for that. Um, I have Fabletics membership and I mostly have it because they have really good deals um, like seasonal and quarterly on their athletic wear and I usually skip the month where they give you credit for X amount and I forgot to do it for the month of December. So I did have some credit to spend, but with that, they also gave, had an offer of choosing from a set list of items for $8, so I figured they've already charged my card for the credit, and basically when he paid 8 for the other items, so I went ahead and took advantage of their sale. So let's see, I, one of them was an outfit together, was, which one was it? The top two. Okay. So I am a medium in tops right now. Or actually, I, I'm bouncing between a small and medium now. Since the pandemic, or during the pandemic, I did gain a significant amount of weight on top of the weight gain that I've already um, had. So, after all that, day 2021, I started focusing more on eating healthy to lose all that additional weight, because I'm, again, I'm short, so even 10 pounds is 15 or something like that, it's very significant on me, and I'm happy to say I've lost, let's see, 50, 40, 30, over 35 pounds already, and again, this is in a long time frame since 2021 since I got serious but I've been able to keep it off so I'm very happy I'm only five pounds away from my goal weight I'm very excited about that it's nice being able to fit into a bunch of my this one, that says the price, but I paid more for that. So I'm going to take off the tags. That way I can put this in the laundry to wash. Because you should always wash your clothes before wearing it. Especially if it's new. Again, where it's made and, you know, factories and stuff. 
it can get exposed to all sorts of chemicals and stuff. Don't wear your clothes off the rack, please. Alright, so it's medium support bra, double layer. But what I liked about it is it's off the shoulder, so it's just one. You can tell right there. It's a cute little detail. The thin is definitely not meant for running more so just strength training or when I'm doing, you know, what is it called? It's like a mixture of Pilates and yoga to like help with core exercises, so this would be a good bra to wear for that. And then the bra came with an outfit with these pants. Let me show you. For the pants, I'm also a medium. I'm down to a medium now. I do tend to be more heavy on my bottom half. I do have wider hips and all that, so this hopefully will fit. Now the material is a little different. There's like a shine to it. It's definitely like different, but I figured, why not? I don't have anything like it, but the inside is not. Now the only thing I'm worried about this is that I could get too warm, but right now it shouldn't be an issue since it's winter, but later on it might be. So this is part of their Motion 365 line. I'm going to keep the tag on this one and try it out first just to be safe. As you can tell, these are pants. Definitely feel different. But I figured I'd try something different. Now with the color, I did stick to something that I normally get, which is dark or black. I, I wear a I just like it. And if I do like, buy something with some color, it's usually like a deep blue or deep red or something like that. I think with my skin tone I can pull off very bright neon colors. Because I end up looking, I notice I end up looking orangey and super tan, but not in a good way, like fake tan almost. And I don't like that. Let's take this off. Now these were the ones that were special offer for $8. And for Fabletics, I always wait for sale. I never buy their stuff full price because look at that. It's too much. But I got it for $8, so that's a good deal. This one's the Define High Waisted 7 8 in the color Onyx. And again, this one's in size. What size is this? Oh, medium. I think this was the only color they had in my size. So I just went ahead and grabbed it. A lot of the things were sold out because they were just such a good deal. But I can't wait to try these out. Now that I'm moving more. And it's not even just exercising more. I just, I'm just trying to move more. Even if it's just you getting more steps in, going up and down the stairs more. Oh my god. This one definitely smells like, I don't know, like new clothes for sure. Almost chemically smell, so definitely need to wash it. But I washed all my new clothes before, so. Alright, so I'm gonna try these on before I take off the tag on those. See if there 
noticed anything around that I was saving for a video. I think this is it. Um, I'm going to put these things away, and if it stays quiet, I might try to do a get ready with me video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day or evening. Bye.